What is up guys, we are back here with a brand new video. Today we're talking about five things I hate about my conspiracy. If you're subscribed, please make sure to subscribe below. And of course, let's get on with this video. First thing I hate about the conspiracy is the healing process. Healing takes usually six to nine months or so for it to heal, depending on the circumstance or scenario, if you bump on it, if you sleep on it, stuff like that. But usually it takes a long, long time for it to heal. So you gotta be patient. You gotta wait and you gotta stick it out for this one. So healing is a pain in the butt. Number two is sleeping on it. Definitely if you're a tosser like I am and you sleep on your conspiracy, it's gonna give you a living nightmare. It's gonna be hell for you because while sleeping on it, it's gonna cause a lot of irritation or friction to your piercing, which can cause excessive bumping, Redness, swelling, there's a lot of problems for your piercing. Try not to sleep on it. Try not to sleep on your con piercing, please. Get one of those neck pillows, you can do that. Roll up a towel, sleep like that, or sleep standing up. Number three on the list is getting caught on stuff. That is right. Like any other ear piercing, the conch can also get caught on things depending if you have a hoop or a stud. For example, if you're hugging someone or if you're washing your hair, the towel gets caught on it, pulls on it. Your ring gets stuck in someone's hair or anything can happen. So you just gotta be careful and it does get caught on things. You gotta be careful when you're doing activities, working out, showering, changing, hugging people, meeting people, doing all kinds of stuff. Just be careful because you get caught on the things depending on the jewelry. Just be cautious what I'm trying to say. So that's another thing I hate about the conch. Piercing. Number four on the list is way to change out, like the healing process. It kind of goes hand in hand where you have to wait to change out six to eight plus nine months. So you gotta be patient for it to heal. Once it's actually ready to heal, there's no redness, swelling, irritation, it looks perfectly normal like before you got it. Then you can change it out. A lot of times people wanna get started with the hoop. You can't, it's gonna cause too many problems. So you wanna get a stud first and then you can change out the hoop. So like the healing time or waiting to change out is a pain in the ass. Another reason why I hate the conch piercing is to wait for it to change out. Man, wait, six, eight months, you're crazy. Number five, on the list is helmets, overhead headphones, and stuff like that, too. Is another reason why we hate the conch piercing. Because again, depending if you have a ring, that's gonna be causing the issue where you you wear it and like the ring's gonna press onto it, kind of or get into it, it might irritate it. Or if you have regular earbuds too, it might get in the way if you put on the earbuds too. It might be kind of uncomfortable. If you have regular like studs or flat backs in, I'm trying to say, and you put on the headphones, you should be okay like, over there because it's inside your ear. But if you have a ring on it, it'll be cause a bit more issues or like a helmet because you're doing a lot of up and down motion friction. So you just gotta be careful whether you have a ring or or stud on things that you wear on and off or if you have like stethoscopes and stuff so you just gotta be careful hey you wear the stethoscopes like Ugh. I don't know, maybe on the other side. Like, they're like, hey, what's up? You know, like, you'll figure out if you're in the medical field. But yeah, headphones, helmets, earbuds, stuff like that can get into it. So just be cautious. Another reason why we hate the conch piercing, man. Man, I'm paying the butt. And of course, for bonus round, swimming or submersion of water for three to four weeks, about a month, you gotta try to avoid that as much as possible because it is a fresh open wound. And if you jump in the pool or you skin and dip, whatever you're gonna do, just be careful because if it's open wound, the water's dirty, bacteria gets collected inside there, and it's all bad. You can still shower, please shower. You can definitely shower. You can definitely do some bath bombs and chill, but just don't submerge your head inside the lake, pool, pond, whatever you're diving into. Another thing I wanna mention is, other than swimming and submerging, also trying to play with it too. Like another thing, people like to fidget and play and twirl this thing, just try to avoid that too. Can you pay the butt? I know some people are bored, just gonna wanna do this all the time, or kinda flip that ring up and down into this. Try to avoid that. Another reason why you hate the contribution is you have to just leave it alone and you can't touch it or mess with it or anything like that, so. God, conch piercing. When it is healed and looks everything bright and dandy, rainbows and sunshine, it looks super cute. A lot of beautiful options you get. The clusters, flowers, trinity, gemmed hinge rings, a lot of beautiful options and variants there's available for you guys to purchase on losebodyjew.com. Links in the description section below. Help support the channel. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. Turn on this post notification to be notified every single time we post. We are posting every single day. And hey, if you have any questions, we do have a live chat section on losebodyjew.com for your questions on ordering jewelry. So if you want to get a conch jewelry and have no idea about sizing, you need recommendations, options like that, you can definitely hit up the chat section and they help you with that. And make sure do not use this for piercing support. It's strictly for ordering jewelry and stuff with like ordering, like handy help ordering jewelry. So make sure you don't comment or ask the chat section questions on your piercings, jewelry only. That is it for today's video. Peace.